Blue Water's lining and coating pipe rehabilitation solutions use epoxy resins that are mixed on site just before they are introduced into the drain, drinking water, sewer, or steam pipe that needs repair. What you're seeing here is our technicians mixing and applying the blue epoxy for a structural drain lining. Once the epoxy is mixed, it's inserted into a felt liner, and the technicians saturate the felt by hand to ensure even coverage. The cure time, the amount of time before the epoxy thickens and then fully hardens, depends both on the type of epoxy used and on external temperatures. The preparation and insertion of a liner like this is usually done in a temperature range of 45 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. After the liner is completely saturated, it is carefully rolled and wrapped with low-tack painter's tape to reduce its profile and allow for easy installation. The liner is attached to a metal cable and then pushed or pulled into the correct location from the nearest open access point. Depending on the size, type, and location of the job, we also have the option of using a pressurized air cannon to launch the inverted liner directly into the pipe. Once the liner is in place, we introduce air into the rolled up bladder and, as you can see through these clear pipes, the tapes rupture and allow the liner to expand to the correct size and shape. The loss of diameter is minimal. The repair is complete. The rehabbed pipe is stronger than the original pipe when new and the flow rate is enhanced because the new smoother surface reduces turbulence. First, we want to show you the installation of a liner or cured in place pipe. This process can be used to fix any type of pipe including Orangeburg, and areas where the pipe is broken or maybe even completely gone. Generally, we use cured-in-place pipe under homes or buildings where digging would be very expensive, or at businesses where digging would disrupt their operation and customers. After the line is thoroughly cleaned and descaled, which is the most important part of the lining process, we measure the line and custom build each section of liner to be installed. Then, we weigh the two parts of the epoxy, mix it, and pour it into the poly tube. At this time, we press the epoxy into the liner, or in our terms, we wet out the liner. Now, we fold and tape the liner. And pull the liner into place and inflate it to 18 pounds of pressure. After the epoxy has cured, we deflate the liner and pull the bladder out of the newly formed pipe. After the bladder is pulled out, it leaves a new cured in place pipe, even in areas where there was no pipe.
We videoed the inside of the line before and after. And as you can see, it has filled the holes and smoothed out these areas that would have caught paper or caused stop-ups. With this method, we can repair most types of pipe without digging. We can actually take the liner through a commode flange or clean out in most cases. Here are some actual pipes that were repaired. This house was a real challenge. The bottom of the pipe was completely gone. Yet, we were able to install the liner and save the tile and wood floors. This liner is sturdy and long-lasting. This is not just a patch. It is a long-term repair. This is a demonstration of the application of our red epoxy coating for potable water pipes, which meets NSF 61 standards for drinking water compatibility and is approved by the Massachusetts State Plumbing Board for all potable water delivery pipes. This epoxy can be used either on its own or with a liner. Here it is being introduced using a chute tube to deliver a carefully measured amount of epoxy based on the size and length of the pipe to be coated. As you can see, the epoxy is both pushed and pulled entirely by air using a venturi effect. The coating travels along the walls of the pipe only, building on itself to create a perfectly smooth coating. Although only 10 to 12 mils thick, the coating completely repairs most corrosion, pinhole, or other leaks, while creating a permanent seal between the water and any of the contaminants that can be found in older pipes. By controlling the airflow, our technicians can push the coating away from gravitational pulls and around 90 degree bends while choosing the direction of flow at each joint. Once the epoxy is introduced to the access point at the opposite ends of the pipe, the coating is complete. And once again, the pipe is air cured. For epoxy of this type, minimum cure times can run about 8 hours depending on temperature. And most systems are usually left to cure overnight. Whether in buildings or underground, the entire process is faster, safer, and less disruptive than traditional excavation or replacement techniques.